This might be the most beautiful coffee maker in existence, but it's also one of the most expensive. Is it worth it? Let's look at the ratio eight. There is no coffee maker out there that's quite like the ratio eight. Even when you're not using it, it just oozes aesthetics and vibes. As an object, it's totally gorgeous and it's designed to duplicate a handcrafted barista pour over. But who exactly is this coffee maker for? In this video, I'm gonna show you all the pros and cons of this machine and help you decide if it's for you. Now, a quick disclosure, Ratio did send this machine over to me to put through its paces. This video is in no way sponsored by them and they haven't seen it or approved it. Now, I'll be the first to say that even though this machine is obviously a knockout, I was always taken aback by its price. The base model with the glass carafe comes in at $565 and the thermal set with insulated carafe comes in at a whopping $795. Now, that may not be a lot for an espresso machine, but for a drip coffee maker, that is a serious price tag. But still, I would find myself coming back and looking up the ratio eight again and again. It just has this quality, this aesthetic that like keeps you looking at it. If you're watching this video, you might even be in that same position where you've looked at it, you were like trying to wrap your head around the price and you just keep coming back to it and now you're here. I will say that once I took the ratio out of the box, I did start to get the price a little bit more. Everything that you can touch on this machine is this high quality heavy metal or wood or glass. It just feels like this premium product even before you plug it in. You know that feeling when you get into a car that's a little bit more expensive than you have any right to be sitting in and it just feels different? That sound when you close the door, that feeling when you're flipping the switches, the density of the interior, the sound, everything just feels a little different. The ratio is kind of like that when you're experiencing it in person. It just has this like premium touch and feel and look to it that just says this is a high quality product. There's nothing cheap feeling about this brewer. Everything feels luxurious, thought through and intentional. Even this cover, when you take it out, this is the cover to the water tank that you take out when you fill up the machine. It's this heavy metal part. No reason for it to be a heavy metal part like this other than Ratio wants you to feel a certain way when you're using this machine. And I have to say it does work. The Ratio 8 is designed to duplicate a craft barista pour over in your home. And it can do that with either a half or a full pot. When you're doing a full pot, it brews up to 40 ounces of coffee. Brewing with it is dead simple. You plug it in, put the filter in the carafe, put your coffee in, slide the carafe under the brewer and press brew and you're off to the races. The carafe even has a little magnet in it to stop you from brewing the coffee without the carafe underneath and making a huge mess. Very thoughtful feature. Now, there are several ways that the Ratio 8 tries to duplicate that craft barista experience. And the first is with the dripper design. The glass dripper really takes its inspirations from a Chemex, which is a super classic dripper. The thermal set is designed a lot more like a large Herio V60, also an iconic dripper. The shower head is also wide and circular, designed to disperse that water over a wide area, just like a barista would, instead of dumping it just on one small area of the coffee. And then it's got a bloom phase. Now, if you don't know what blooming is, basically this is something that baristas will do when they make you a pour over. And it's putting a small amount of water on the coffee bed first and then letting it sit for about 30 seconds or so. And what that does is it lets some of those bad flavors to escape that were introduced during the roasting process. And I won't bore you with the science, but it translates into a better cup of coffee at the end. Now, a couple notes about this glass carafe right here. The Chemex inspired carafe, it looks really good when it's sitting on your counter, but there are a couple compromises with using a carafe with that kind of design. Number one, it's single wall glass, so it's not gonna hold the heat very well, and there's no hot plate either, so if you're using this carafe, you're gonna wanna start drinking your coffee pretty quickly after you brew it, or you're gonna end up reheating it. Another thing about the Chemex design is the Chemex filters that they send with the Ratio 8. Now, they only send a couple to get you started, but they send the square filters, which 
I can't for the life of me figure out why they do this. I mean, they look good when you have the carafe just sitting there, but as soon as you go to put it in the machine, they don't actually fit under very well. And in my opinion, the round filters, maybe they're not quite as sexy, but they would actually be a little bit functionally better. Then there's the fact that Chemex filters combined with this glass wall design, it drains pretty slowly. And this is one of the main critiques of the Chemex is that you know once you get that filter stuck to the walls of the glass, it actually drains kind of slowly, which means you need to grind a little bit coarser, which is fine, but if you grind too coarse, you're at risk of under extracting your coffee, resulting in a more kind of acidic and unpleasant cup. And the tricky thing is because of this magnet, it's not like you can just swap it out for another carafe design. You're kind of stuck because the magnet triggers a sensor which will allow the machine to brew or not. Now the thermal set is designed a lot more like a large Hario V60, which I actually prefer. It drains more quickly, which means you can push the grind finer, resulting in a little bit less finicky of a brew. Now I will say, even though this Chemex style design does have some compromises, the eight really does make a great cup of coffee. The ratio eight really was designed with that whole experience in mind when you're using it. The smell, the sight, that steam coming up, the sound of it. It really is a machine that wants you to stand with it and experience that pour over vibe while it's making you a cup of coffee. And I have to admit, when it's sitting there doing its thing, you want to stand there and watch it. Now, besides the craft, there are a couple things that I don't really love about this machine. It's got that premium price tag, but also a premium build quality. Okay. But the experience of brewing with it is also very curated, let's say, and you can't really tweak it at all. There's no way to adjust the bloom time or any of the brew features. You really just kind of have to fill it up with water and coffee and trust that it's going to make you a great cup of coffee, which to be totally fair, it does but there's no way to adjust it if you want it to make coffee differently. And there's no clock, there's no automation, so you can't just set it to turn on for you in the morning. This is a machine that wants to be used actively, so that could be a plus or a minus for you. Also, I find when I'm making a full batch of coffee, which is up to 70 grams, that's a big batch of coffee. I find that I have to grind pretty coarse or I'm at risk of overflowing the basket, which is okay, but again, the coarser you go, the higher the chance that you could under extract your coffee. Also, the lack of the hot plate really edges you up into that thermal set, which is quite a bit more expensive if you want your coffee to stay hot for any length of time. And this open design, it's beautiful, but because of that, there's a lot of condensation that collects on the underside of the brewer, which, you know, in my experience, it didn't really make a difference. It didn't really get anywhere, but it doesn't really seem like part of the curated design either. It just seems like something that they decided to live with, with the design. Then there's the ratio six, the little brother to the ratio eight. It came later, it's cheaper, and even though it doesn't look as nice, some people would say it makes just as good or maybe even better coffee than the ratio eight. It doesn't have quite the same premium vibe, but it is a great coffee maker. And if you would love to see a review for the six or a comparison between the two, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do to get my hands on one. Those things being said, they're is just something about this coffee maker. It's totally luxurious. And when you're using it, you just feel like you're living that premium lifestyle that's just a little bit out of your budget. And even if the machine is a little bit out of your budget, Ratio stands behind them with a warranty for five years. So if you're the type of person that likes to buy fewer things that last a lot longer, this may be a good fit for you. I have to admit, it just feels really good using this coffee maker. It looks fantastic. It feels fantastic to use. It makes a great cup of coffee and it looks like it could be in a magazine and it's got a price tag to match. Now I want to hear what you think. Is this thing wildly overpriced or are you the type of person who likes to buy really high quality stuff and never plan on replacing it for like 10 or 20 years? Do you like the Chemex design or do you wish this came with a different solution at a lower price point? I would love to know what you think. So drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, all that stuff is really helpful for creators and let me know if I can help you out in any way. We'll see you next time. Happy brewing. Cheers.